Hello friends, my name is Sumit and I am here with another exciting Excel based template which is which is quite useful in you know uh, agile environment. So guys if you are working as a, a scrum master or if you belong from an agile environment you must be aware that you know scrum matrix plays a very you know critical role. These are the you know scrum matrix which we generally follow which includes sprint velocity, commitment reliability, capacity utilization, estimation variance, backlog health, defect leakage, scope change right so uh, but the thing is basically you know um, maintaining or preparing these kind of scrum matrix it itself is a uh, tough task because every scrum matrix has different concept and you know different ways of calculation which makes it really very difficult to you know make a uh, you know a scrum matrix on a um, you know regular basis so uh, let me tell you how this uh, you know uh, is this entire template is all about and how this works so um, for first of all for those who are you know who has just started their career as a scrum master or who have who does not have any you know very deep knowledge about a scrum matrix for those they just need to you know uh, click on the first sheet which is called definition and formulas this sheet will help them to understand about each and every you know scrum matrix its definition right and the best part how it's being calculated so this sheet will be extremely helpful for the beginners right in order to understand the about the scrum matrices uh, what is all about and how it's being calculated right so let's go to the main sheet so this is our main sheet where you can see there are different you know buttons in it and these all buttons are hyperlinked right so hyperlink means for example if you if you want to if you wish to access any specific scrum matrix you just need to click on this particular button right and you will be uh, in that perspective sheet right for example if you want to see what's your backlog health just click on the backlog health button and you will see that this is your backlog health as of now now go back to the main sheet right so as you can see there are multiple buttons right every button denotes to a particular scrum matrix and at the there is at last there is one more button which shows which which is uh, shows a kind of a consolidated view of all these scrum matrix right let's see what is there so when you will click on this consolidated uh, view button you will see all the scrum matrix graphs in a one sheet right which includes your velocity trend right sprint velocity commitment reliability upwards estimation right and beneath it you, you will see defect leakage effort estimation variance and capacity utilization trend as well right so in this sheet this sheet will show, uh, will help you to you know to take a uh, to take a consolidated view of all these scrum matrices right now let's go back to the main sheet right okay now so guys i am not going to uh, you know tell you that how we need to you know how we need to prepare this template because because there is no you know uh, no purpose of reinvent the wheel right so in this video i am going to tell you that how best you can utilize this uh, template in order to manage your scrum matrices right this is quite easy and this is dynamic and automated sheet as well right so uh, let's let's start so first of all when you will get this template right uh, all you need to do you just need to prepare from your uh, data right so at the at the end you will see a button which is called data input sheet when you will click on this button you will be bring to an excel sheet which shows some sort of you know uh, scrum related dashboard or buttons or uh, key uh, keywords so all you need to do you just need to start uh, you know inserting all your details in this sheet right and from this sheet the details respective details will move into the respective sheet in order to prepare the uh, you know respective scrum matrix right so let's uh, see what are these columns are so first of all the column first you need to uh, mention your sprint number column b says sum of completed story point right so here you need to uh, put what is the uh, sum of total story completed story point in that particular sprint next to it we'll see some of comba, uh, committed story points right so committed story points is all we basically it's basically uh, your scrum team or your individuals has committed at the start of the sprint so you need to put some of the committed story point in column d you will see total available capacity in hours right so uh, if you have you know seen my earlier templates which using that template you can come to know that what is your available you know capacity of your scrum team after excluding the leave hours holidays or their you know ceremony hours so even if have, you haven't seen that uh, video i'm uh, sending you the link you will find the link in the uh, description field and from there you can access that video as well 
or let us uh, come back to our sheet which is our data input sheet so in column e you will see this says total estimation hours right so here you need to um, uh, you know uh, key in feed in what is the total hours estimated you have you know estimated at the beginning of your sprint right here you need to mention it this next column next to it is show uh, it shows total of actual hours so here you need to complete it how many uh, total hours your team has been completed by end of the sprint okay now these two columns which is added story and removed story point as you know that this is related to the uh, your you know uh, estimation variance right no this is about the scope change okay because in a scope change what we calculate exactly we calculate that how many story points we have added or we have removed after you know after uh, sprint has been started right so in column g you need to add how many total story points which which has been added after you know uh, starting of the sprint and in column h you need to mention the total sum of all the story points which has been removed from that sprint right so these numbers will be calculated autom uh, automatically uh, in the scope change sheet right and last two columns shows number of defects during the sprint and number of defects post sprint right so you must be aware that these two particular data will be calculated where this will be calculated in, in defect leakage sheet defect leakage matrix right because in defect leakage what we calculate we simply calculate that what is the number of the uh, bugs or defects during the sprint and what is the number of bugs or defects after post completion of the sprint right so this is a sheet where you need to mention or maintain all your data this is the only thing which which has to be done manually right and as all the things will be done automatically so once you are done with the data insertion in this particular sheet let's go back to your main sheet and let's see how our you know scum practice has been shown here so let's go the first sheet which is your velocity so this is uh, this particular sheet my sprint velocity is being, being calculated and it is being shown in a graphical format now the most important part most important part here you can identify guys that this report or graph is is, is being shown in a rag format or red amber green format this because you can see on the top i have mentioned that you know if your sprint velocity is is, is you know uh, i have set the limit for the red amber and green field for your sprint you know velocity right so if you are simply aware that if uh, how we calculate the sprint velocity sprint velocity is nothing but is in, in sprint velocity what we do we simply compare uh, you know uh, story completion in a particular sprint with the you know uh, with the average of last sprints so what we do exactly in this case we take a simple average of um, you know completed story points of last let's say three four sprints and we take it as a benchmark and then we compare this benchmark with the every you know uh, with the completion story point of every sprint right now the thing is basically because uh, you know as per your need you can define that how many sprint you want to take as an as an average right so all you need to do just you know uh, select numbers from this drop down let's say if you want to see a uh, number you know or if you want to take an average of last five sprint then this sheet will calculate uh, will take as a benchmark of last five sprints only right if you wish to take it let's say 10 sprint then this sheet will calculate will take as a you know um, uh, average of last 10 sprint only right now the best part is that you can also change the you know uh, percentage of these red amber green field as well right for example let's say you say that uh, for me the red zone would be anything you know um, below 20 percent will be considered as a uh, red uh, red zone so simply just change the percentage over here and you will see that uh, the percentage in this graph has been changed accordingly right but all you need to mention that the sum of these percentages should be equal to 100 otherwise there uh, the error uh, error message will be shown here okay so for example i have reduced uh, to 20 percent then the sum of this is not coming 20 percent so i have to increase it a little bit let's make it 50 percent then and you can see that uh, green field has been increase a little graph which is shown which is being shown here this graph is being shown on the main graph sheet as well right so these are the all the graphs will be updated automatically in this graph sheet as well okay now in the same manner you will find the calculation in the other sheet as well let's say this is the this is for the commitment reliability and in the same manner you can see that you know calculation is being shown here also so all the details are being you know populated automatically from the data input sheet once you are done with the sheet all you need to do just copy or drag this formula at the bottom and you will see that this will capture the other sprint data as well right now let's see the capacity utilization so you can see 
then the same trend capacity utilization also being calculated same goes for fertility estimation variance next is for defect leakage so all the graphs where this you know the, this is for the red format has been defined you can change the percentage for your red amber green zone as per your need right next is your scope change so this is also in this date in this sheet also data is being fetched from the main data input sheet right all right so this is how this is how you can you know uh, manage and maintain your scrum practice using this you know dynamic and automated uh, template now at the last just need to take a look on the backlog health as well all right so this is this is a sheet where you can see the health of your backlog items as well how this backlog health is being calculated so back in backlog health what we do we simply compare the you know available total available items in our backlog with the uh, with our average sprint velocity right so what is being what is what is the mean of that because in this sheet in this you know backlog health calculation what we do we simply take average of what is the average of uh, sprint velocity right and here the sprint velocity is being shown 26 which is coming from the your sprint velocity sheet right and you just need to mention what is the sum of your total available story points in your backlog health you just need to put that particular thing here right for example let's say if you see that uh, total story point in my backlog is 50 then what is your backlog health so you can see the backlog health is showing 2x why 2x because your average velocity is 26 and your you know available uh, item in your backlog is almost uh, twice uh, of the you know average velocity that's why it's showing 2x let's say if you make it let's say more 72 or 80 then this backlog health will show 3x right and if you just make it let's say 20 then this will show only that it will show that your backlog health is you know only uh, is is less than average less than average velocity yeah?